All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today I wanted to talk about the Wii U. Now, before I get into this, I love the Wii U. I have enjoyed so much out of that system. Um, as soon as, you know, the exclusives really started to get pumped out from it. Uh, unfortunately, they really didn't get a lot of multi-platforms, which really hurt them, I think, in the long run. Um, but I think that there was a lot of other factors that, that, you know, hindered them from really being a successful console, uh, not being as powerful as the PS4 and the Xbox One is definitely one of them. Also, with the Wii, I think the Wii also, n even though it was super successful last generation, uh, it really m went more for the casuals and really t didn't have as enough pl uh, multi-platforms on that system. Uh, for gamers to kind of say, okay, well, I'm going to stick with Nintendo to get my multi-platforms on there. So they're like, we, we, we don't get enough multi-platforms on the Nintendo Wii. So they ended up maybe adopting, you know, the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360 as their main console. And then slow, they slowly started losing some of their uh, audience that way. Which is really unfortunate because I love Nintendo. Um, however, I really do believe that the Nintendo Wii U is nearing its end. Um, and I don't say that as a knock to the Wii U. Like I said, I love it. I, I love Nintendo. But I really think that there are a lot of signs that are showing that uh, the NX is going to be the end of the Wii U. Nintendo has stated that uh, they were going to create the NX and it would be a supplement, not competition to the Wii U and 3DS. It was, it was going to be a supplement to the Wii U and 3DS, even though at this point, we don't really know what it is, but I think that in my mind, I think it's going to be like a combination of both. And that, that is going to replace the Wii U completely. The reason why I think this is, is, is for a few things. One of them is, uh, it's a new console. And it, if it's going to be playable on a TV, like some kind of adapter, or it actually just runs on the TV, uh, like an actual regular console would, uh, that is definitely the next upgrade. To, it's the next console. The other thing is that uh, the only big game coming out this holiday season is Paper Mario. That is the only big release from Nintendo in the next three months. That is insane to think they only have one game. And the Paper Mario series aren't even that big anymore. I really feel that the Nintendo 64 and GameCube versions of that series were the biggest releases. And ever since then, it's kind of gone uh, a little bit lower. So, already, we don't have a big release. We only have one release uh, this holiday season. And then next year, I think Zelda is the only game that's coming out that's really big. And that is also I, apparently uh, going on to the NX as well. So I really feel that this is the last cycles of the Wii U. And that next year, in 2017, we might have just maybe another few games, other than Zelda, that we might get on the Wii U that are big. But I really don't think even that we're, we're going to get. Um, as I feel that 2018 will not have any big releases from the Wii U, as the NX will take over. The other thing that really makes me think that the Wii U is dying is that um, in 2014, they released a game that they eventually ported to the 3DS. So in 2014, they released Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U. And then in 2015, last year, they released uh, Hyrule Warriors Legends, which was basically the exact same game, although you had like a few extra characters, like there was a female Link, I believe, and maybe a few additional levels. I, I'm not 100% certain. On the 3DS. They, so they ported to the, to the 3DS. And then just recently, at the um, Nintendo Direct uh, for September, uh, they announced that they would be uh, releasing Super Mario Maker on the 3DS. Although that version is, um, I think, the weaker version because that you can't even like you know upload your your creating uh, levels on for the public. So it, it just really seems like that's the whole point of Super Mario Maker, and you can't even do that. So the Wii U is still the definitive edition. Uh, but they are releasing on the 3DS and also uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, along with additional levels uh, that include like the dog. Um, I can't remember what his name is. Uh, but so so they're always adding something else when they port it over to the 3DS. But it seems as though they're kind of saying, okay, these games didn't do well enough on the Wii U, so we're going to put them on the 3DS. And I really feel that when the company does that, uh, they're basically giving up on that's the, the current system and focusing on other things uh, because they, they didn't do well enough on one console so they're putting them out on another console that's doing well and, and then to me that just looks like it's dying uh, a good example of that is Gravity Rush which came out on the PlayStation Vita which was like its big ex biggest exclusive and I still think it's probably its big, biggest exclusive 
uh, since um, it came out. Uh, it has been ported over to the PlayStation 4 uh, so that enough people can play it so they could make sequels. Like, I, I completely understand why they're doing this, um, but I, I, I just feel that that means that they're slowly phasing those systems out, uh, which is, in my opinion, really too bad because the Wii U is only you know going to be turning four years old um, this fall. And I wish that we could have gotten a little bit more out of it. I, I wish that we could have gotten like at least another year or two uh, where they were really focusing on it. Um, because I, I think that if we could have had, you know, a proper Animal Crossing instead of the party game that we got on it. Uh, like I, I would just like maybe t two to three big releases, then a few other small releases. So um, I, I would have liked to have seen an Animal Crossing because I think that that would have helped the Wii U at, at, at the time. More, not, not, not at this point, but like earlier in its life cycle. Uh, I also think that I, I would have wanted um, an F-Zero game on the Wii U because it's been so long since we have had a, an F-Zero game uh, that I would just have liked uh, to have had that on the Wii U. And I mean, if you're going to use the gamepad, they could have had it that, you know, you basically raced in third person, like you normally would in F-Zero uh, on the main screen. And if, and if you wanted, you could also have the Wii U to eat the, like the gamepad uh, to look in first person, but you, not not in the sense that Star Fox, where you kind of have to look at the, the gamepad, but it's like if you want to, you can also for first person, or you could have the racetrack on it. So I, I just think that that would have been fun. And um, last but not least, I would have loved for Super Mario Galaxy three on the Wii U. They weren't really showing any signs that they were going to do that, but I, I think that that would have just been amazing because I really feel that we didn't really get a Mario um, third person game. We got three D world is it or 3d land um which is which is kind of like both it's it, it is the third person but it's not as expansive as super mario 64 super mario galaxy super mario sunshine um because it was more like multiplayer centered it was still a great game i i loved it i just really feel that i wanted like a single player campaign uh that i could really sink my teeth in that that was in the vein of galaxy or 64 um so yeah, and, and then obviously I, I would have liked to have maybe seen like a Harvest Moon and, and, and a few more RPGs because we really didn't get a lot of RPGs on the Wii U, which is really too bad uh, because I, I always, it's just like Nintendo slowly going away from it on their main consoles. On the 3DS though, we're still getting a lot, which is awesome. So that's my thoughts. I really believe that, you know, the Wii U is done. Uh, we're going to have Paper Mario this year. Next year, we'll probably have Zelda and Maybe one other thing, but or a few other games, but I think that they're going to be smaller releases. I don't think that we're going to see anything from a big uh, series um, from Nintendo for the Wii U. And um, I'm sad to see it go. Once again, I'm not 100% certain if this is going to happen. This is just my thoughts at the moment. Uh, and I think that in October, I, I, I heard that we might be getting the NX reveal at that point. And once we know exactly what that is, then we'll have a much better idea of, you know, if the Wii U is done or not or what the heck Nintendo is doing with the NX. I, I still cannot wait for the NX, and I, I, I just wanted to, you know, share my thoughts on the Wii U, and, and really, I'm sad to see it go, because I really did enjoy uh, the console and its, its, its exclusives. Not so much the gamepad, more so just its, its ex exclusives. Uh, I just love Nintendo. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. You've been bearded in. Beardage.